we have a line item dimension. Whenever I'm creating a dimension, it is going to ask you two options. Do you want to make this line item or do you want to make this high cardinality? There are two check boxes. So what is a line item dimension? The path from the key figures in the fact tables to dimension ID, then SID can be simplified by the line item dimension. What does it mean? When a dimension is set as a line item dimension, SAP BW doesn't create a dimension table. There is no slash BIC slash uh, followed by your D followed by your info cube number one. If you make as a line item dimension. Instead of that, it is directly connects the fact table with the SID table of the characteristic. See, for example, I have here a fact table. I have here a dimension table. This dimension table contains some material data. See, I have a dimension ID, material, SID, material, SID, material groups. So what happens is this is called extended star schema. We talk about this. So what is this? Whenever you store the data into dimension, the data will be stored out of the dimension table as a text type, attributes type, hierarchy types. Three tables will be created. The dimension will connect to three tables by using SID. Do you remember that when I loaded a master data, there was a SID table? Guys, do you remember this? I told you that whenever we talk about InfoQ, yes. we will talk about SID table. Yes. So that SID table is a use of here now. So what happens is material dimension or any dimension, it doesn't store the data inside the dimension. Rather, it will store only IDs. What is this IDs? It is separating the data, one for attributes, one for text data, one for hierarchy data because of SID. Here also SID is contains. This connect to the SID to SID. See, can, can you see here, I have a SID zero material. It is connected to SID zero material here. Hmm. I have a SID zero material group. It is connected to SID zero material group. The tables will be divided. That is a use of SID table. Every single info object you creating, there will be one SID table will be created. The data will be divided. So then it will connect to the data. This is a extended star schema. We'll come to that part later. See, right now you need to understand only thing, the dimension table connected to the SID tables. Now, if I make one dimension as a line item dimension, for example, I have a customer dimension. I made it as a line item dimension. Then what happens? It doesn't create the dimension table like this. There is no dimension. What happened? Fact table directly connected to SID table. In between, there is no dimension table. So what is the use of this one? When you have only one single info object you want to add into a dimension table, <coughs> rather than creating a table, let's make it as a line item dimension. It will directly connect to your SID table. You can save a space for dimension table. What is a high cardinality? When a data volume stored in a table is huge, it is difficult to retrieve a particular record or set of records. Indexes are created on various columns of a table to improve the retrieval performance or to require document if you want to retrieve. If you create index, that will improve this performance. Okay, in this situation, see what I'm trying to explain here. I have a dimension table which has a huge data. I want to read one particular data. For example, it has a millions of records. I want to read a record number 100. It is a very difficult out of the million records to reading one particular record. Then we need to create index. Indexes will be created on column wise to improve the retrieval performance in a table. By default, SAP BW create a bitmap index for each dimension column of the fact table, which is a useful when your number of distinct values in the dimension isn't very high. However, in case where distinct values are high, the dimension table is at least 20% of the size of the fact table, then SAP recommends make this dimension table as high cardinality. You need to always understand if your dimension table size is increasing comparing with your fact table size, that, that is not a best thing. Your performance, InfoQ performance will go low, slow down. 
So you need to always monitor what is my dimension table size. For example, fact table is 1 GB. If a dimension table cross 200 MB of size, immediately you need to make it as a high cardinality. Then what happens? The settings changes the index type on that particular dimension from bitmap to bit tree index. Then what happens? Then size will be, little bit will be decreased. The performance, the retrieval performance will increase, it will be improved more. This is a use of high cardinality. They're going to ask in interview, why we need to set up a dimension for high cardinality? Basically, in an info queue, any dimension, it contains a bitmap index. If the dimension table size is more than 20% of fact table size, then I need to set up that particular dimension as high cardinality. When I set up this one, the settings will change the index type from bitmap to bitree index. This is the advantage of high cardinality. This is the answer. Clear guys?